Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, let's get this uh, day started off right. Cook up a little bit of bacon on the old flat top, the old Blackstone. We'll cook up some pancakes and some bacon. But we're gonna start this day out right. Come on back. We're fixing to do a lot today. Well, we had a great breakfast. We had bacon, we had keto cakes. We're trying real hard to pancakes. lose weight. That's right, pancakes. pancakes. What did I say, cakes? Yeah. Yes. Well, maybe we'll have them this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, some of you don't know, I'm Daryl. I'm Kim. I'm Debbie, Daryl's sister. So, today we're outside of Florence, Arizona, just kind of southeast of uh, Phoenix. We're out here in the desert. We're gonna to go to a family reunion this weekend, but we thought we'd stop and take a minute. We got some things we need to do today. What do you need to do today? I'm not sure. <laughs> we got graphics that we need to put on uh, Clark. We got a flagpole we need to put on Clark. We have some odds and ends stuff to do with Clark. My sister just got her Granite Ridge. Uh, I believe that's a 2004 Four. Class C RV. We'll show you that too in a, in a separate video. But we got some stuff we want to do with her. She's got. She's got her uh, dog and we're going to protect the screen on her um, screen door in the RV and some odds and ends stuff. Kind of, you know, when you get a new RV, you got to start putting things together. So that's what we're going to do today. So just hang on. We're going to get some stuff done. Huh? That's right. Yep. All right. Well, the first task today. Done. Complete. All right. This was uh, graphics from uh, 1060, I believe it was. Pretty simple process to put them on. You need just a little bit of talent to get everything straight and plumb and everything like that but these are the three inch letters some days here and the YouTube and we're probably gonna get maybe an Instagram or a Facebook too so if you want to check us out on Instagram or Facebook it's some days here what do you think Kim you like it I like it all right Kim approved I like it I like it a lot that's right <laughs> on to the next thing all right next thing Kim and I are gonna do is while we're in courtside at the big tent, we got us a flagpole. That's right, and not just any flagpole. This is a, um, a flagpolefarm.com is where we got it. I've had two flagpoles in my RV uh, career, and both of them have broke. And on the average of $150 a piece, that's $300. So I went out to try to find the best one I could find. And thanks, Jim and Deb. That's right, Jim and Deb. <laughs> From, Life is a joy. Uh, Life is a joy. Jim, thank you very much for uh, showing me where this was at. This has got a lifetime guarantee on it. Uh, it's, it is expensive, but uh, very. it just doesn't friction lock in there. It actually goes up, goes over, and drops back down. And I'll show you that. And the and the uh, the clips where the flag's on, they're just not those round rubber grommet things that bust all the time. Um, this one's got some heavy duty. But we're going to get this out and we'll give you a show. All right. Well, we got a few tasks taken care of today. Hey, got the graphics on the back. Some days here. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Got the flagpole on. I've got just a couple clamps on it now. But I like it. A little bit of wind today. It's got the solar light. Maybe I'll try to show that tonight. So we put the graphics on back here, over here, yeah. we put some graphics over here by the door, thought we'd try that, see how that worked, and then I'm going to put them, some on my uh, uh, back glass on the truck. But we got our little setup going on out here, we've got our uh, little flat top there, the ice machine, the grill. We just had some leftovers. We bought our new uh, fireplace. Hadn't even used it yet. But this is our little setup. We're out here in the desert. Outside of Florence. 
Arizona. It's a nice little spot. Kim and I are having a great time out here with my sisters. We got uh, my niece coming out with her husband and her two great kids. They're going to be coming out. We're camping with some other people. Uh, friends of some of the kids that are coming out, they're going to get on their razors and off-road vehicles. That looks cool. RV and it's what it's about people. If you're thinking about doing it, just like my sister, she's been wanting to do it for a while. So she decided, she retired finally last year from Walmart after uh, many, many years working at Walmart. Nice little Class C on an E450 chassis. So uh, I, I helped her find this rig in uh, Phoenix. I think it's going to do really good. It's got plenty of storage. We were talking about putting solar on there. I put a new battery in. It's going to be a great little rig for her. She's going to follow us around while we're down here in winter. She's got a place up in uh, Apache Junction. Nice little house. So uh, she may follow us around for a while. And. Uh, Maybe uh, go down to Yuma with us, make Lake, Lake Havasu. We don't know where we're going to go. And then she'll go back uh, uh, home for a while and then maybe uh, start heading to the northwest uh, come June. But uh, she, she may go up to Utah with us. I'm trying to show her the ropes and get her a lot of things worked out. Today we put a new opening for her so we can keep the dog in. I got nice little pup dog Oreo put the little screen on to try to help protect that so he don't get carried away put the grab bar on I put one of these on every rig it just helps being able to get the door in and out put the new latch receiver so that locks really good the other one that you could just pull on it and it would just come come out so that's all good in the hood you know what's nice about this one look at this She's got a, let's see if I can get it up. They actually got a deadbolt in this one. Isn't that great? And a lot of RVers wish they had that. But a nice little rig. A couple slides. Really going to be good for her. I think it's going to work just fine. As far as Clark goes, Clark's doing good. Really love this little rig. We uh, were at Schoolie Palooza. And you know, we didn't have to use the generator at all to power 500 watts of solar on top. 2000 watt inverter. I think she did use it one time. I think she got out the Footy Ninja and of course I can't handle that in my 2000 watt inverter. Can for a little bit, but I don't like to task it. So, we got the generator in the back of the truck, the Champion. Still going good after all these years. Can't complain. The Duramax 3500. It's doing good. Got some new tires on the front, as you saw before. Alpen Light, 1996. This is a good little rig. We picked this up in uh, in Tennessee. I guess we're down in Gatlinburg. We really like that. That's our spread. Sitting out here. Just relaxing after a busy couple weeks with some great people. You've met them before in our videos. Bobby and Sharon, Nomadic Ramblers, Shirley, following the Yellow Brick Road. And of course, Jim and Debbie. Life is a joy. Check their channels out if you, got, if you want to watch some good videos. Some other people here pulled up today. Coming out here enjoying some free land. In Arizona, as there is a lot out here. 
So our neighbors that are camping with us went out for a little ride on their rigs. So this is all good. We gotta watch the dogs out here though. There's lots of coyotes out here. So our little ones are always on a leash or where I can see them or right next to me and I can get a 360 view if I catch a coyote sneaking up. There's Deb's dog, Oreo. We call him Rio for short. Hey, Oreo. Come say hi. That good boy. But man, this is great out here. It's relaxing. This is the end of January. We're fixing to roll into February. Yeah, it flies by. As a lot of you know. All right, this is a uh, this is a shot of my niece's fifth wheel. They just got it's a toy hauler. They traded in their big Class A. They got a lot of toys, as you can see right here. They had to have somewhere to put them, and they spent a lot of time camping. Now this looks like a two slide. On this side, it's got a 20 foot garage in the back, 20 feet. So that's a lot of room for their toys. They got the boy a little dirt bike, four wheeler. Oops, hang on. And he just got a new cage on his little Polaris 1000 Turbo. That's a fun little rig. And it's got a slide over here. That's my niece Kimmy and her husband Roger. And her two kids. Dakota and of course Mr. Man. They got two or three dogs. They're pulling it with an F-250 right now. Tomorrow he's going to go in and get a different truck because we all know that truck is, it can pull it but it's not going to stop it so he's going to have to upgrade. So that's it. We're breaking camp. Everybody's packing to go home. Back to Phoenix or wherever they're at, out walking the dogs. Let's go over and see Kim. Look what he got for that young man. He is a seventh grader. And they picked that up for him. It's about four thousand dollars. Oh, he is having a ball with it. He takes his sister out and his other friends. He is having a ball with that little thing. All right, man, did we have a good time or what? We did. We got to meet some of our relatives I haven't seen maybe for 30 years. So again, another good thing to do with an RV, you can go see some people and meet some of the family that you haven't seen for a long time. Mr. Man here, he's doing all right. He, uh, of course, he got neutered, or as Kim say, he got vasectomy. But he's doing good. We can take this off in about another three days and he should be able to run free. But today, we're pulling out. Heading down to Yuma. Yuma, Arizona. So we're gonna go down there, meet up with some people again. Yeah. Go, uh, go explore. Go back with the tribe. Explore, <laughs> explore Yuma. And, and go to Mexico. Yeah, we'll see what happens down there. We're gonna spend a little time down there. It's gonna be fun. Yep. So until the next time, stop the madness. Start the adventure. See you on the road, guys. Some days here.